Hey, this is Todd at NC Solar Electric. The weather finally got warm, it's sunny, and I just installed these four panels all by myself using the Integra Rack IR30 solar mounting system. These things are DIY friendly and easy to use. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it using anchor spikes. These anchor spikes are easy to do and they very fast, provided you know the right procedure. And I'm going to go over that with you, so stay tuned. These panels are mounted using the Integra Rack IR30 mounting system. It's one of the easiest DIY mounting systems there is. I used ballast blocks to mount these bifacial 550 watt panels. And one of the things when you do it with ballast blocks is you can lay out all the racks first. You thread through here a piece of one inch EMT goes all the way down you space it out for your panels and then you bolt everything to the EMT and then you mount your panels straightforward and then you spend quite a few hours loading on ballast block if you're going to use the other ballast mount kit you would lay the cloth across the 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 frames using epoxy to glue it down and then load your gravel or dirt on there over here now, i have four panels i just mounted on the ir30s and i used the anchor spike kit having not done this before and having done it the other way i made the mistake of putting everything together here and then trying to put the spikes in, and that doesn't work. Once everything is all put together, you can't lift it up and drop it on top of the spikes. And it made the job very difficult. It was a comedy of errors as I figured this out. Now I understand what needs to be done. For each rack, as you wanna add another rack, and I've got four more panels to install, you take your piece of EMT and thread it through as far as it needs to go so that this is the only rack that it's connected to. Then you set your spacing between the two racks for your panel. And then you take it off and push the EMT in further so it's out of your way. Then you drill your holes for the spikes which you've marked, tap your spikes in, then put the frame back in place, and then thread through your EMT pipe for the next rack. And then do the same procedure again, sliding the EMT back and forth until you're done. And you've got all four of your racks connected. And you can see here, and you can see here, I've still got three more racks to set up, plus that one that's standing, four racks. And then I'll be able to mount four more panels. And um, I just wanted to teach you guys how it's done. I'll record some video clips of drilling and putting in the spikes and all that I've got. Uh, I just want to make sure that the procedure is clear because if you put everything together first, it's really difficult to lift it all up and drop it on the spikes when it's on an angle. It's not vertical above the spikes and you can't, you can't tap the spikes through this. Okay. I use this piece of copper, copper, uh, tube. It's a plumbing fixture to end the pipe. And I shove that in the ground with my foot and that marks the spot. Once everything is all measured out, that marks my spot of where it's gonna go. And then I take this off, take that off and you can pull out the spike, put your drill in there and drill it up. And once you, once you drill the holes, then you can put your spikes in I put the spikes in until about that much is sticking up above the ground. And then I tap the spikes in. Now, you'll see here, there's a bolt that goes through. 
and that clamps to the spike okay and as you go down you'll see these are not all down to the ground i had to lift up on this one all right i had to lift up on this one so there's space underneath it's being held up by the spike same for the one on the end i had to lift up on it and you can see here i can put my hand under it but it's held up solid and the whole point there is that when i look down this row everything is nice and level then i have this three-quarter impact drill 18 inches long and you go over to one of those spike holes and you drill it down all the way. When you get the anchor spikes, they come wrapped like this. These barbs are very sharp. They don't fit through the rack from the top. So don't put your rack in place until you put your spikes in. Okay, and then you have to basically stack one, line up the next one, drill it, put your tube in and put it in and do that all the way down the line, one at a time. If you do like I did and build the whole rack, I didn't really line everything up yet because I kind of knew, but it makes it more difficult. When you have a spike, you have a hole. can feel when you get to the bottom of the drill hole yeah I've been just making them about the same height as the as the copper about six inches it's that one next hole Okay, we're gonna keep going. New day. It's getting warm out. Alright. So these new panels are 44 and 3 quarters.
note that this time nothing is bolted down here. I'll make it easy on myself. So we just mark where the holes go and slide them over. These four panels mounted still got four more to go but these are a KB solar made in South Carolina Spartanburg South Carolina USA made <clears throat> this is a monofacial this is a bifacial 450 they're both 450 watts and these are two green watts 450s okay when using the anchor spikes you don't want to set everything up first you want to measure out your your frames but then for each new section thread in the emt as far in as you can go so you're not in the space of the next one then mount the next one then slide the emt through and just continue that down the line otherwise you're fighting the emt to lift it up and put it on the spikes Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did, and feel free to visit my website, www.ncsolarelectric.com, and schedule your call with me. Unlike other YouTubers, I'm here to help. I have a passion to help people go solar. It doesn't matter if it's for your home, or your business, or just an off-grid cabin. I've got all the equipment, and all the parts you need to DIY your own solar. I've got solar panels, racking, inverters, and batteries, and I know how to get the job done right at the lowest cost. So give me a call, let's connect. I've been an engineer for over 40 years and I have been doing solar for, since 2010. So you know you're in good hands and you can trust me. Just check out my glowing reviews on Google. Y'all take care, bye-bye.